All right, guys, Mr. G here, and what are we talking about today? We're talking about Rage 2. What is it? Should you buy it? Is it worth the money? Is it as bad as a lot of the reviews on Steam are saying? Well, let's talk about what it does well and what it can work on. First of all, Rage 2 is an open-world shooter brought to us by the Avalanche and ID Studios, the guys that gave you Just Cause and the Mad Max game we saw a while back. Okay, so that being said... It's a decent sized open world, although not as big as the ones that I from the games I just mentioned. Um, also has some cars in it you can drive around in a Mad Maxian style apocalyptic world that's basically a ripoff of Mad Max. However, um, while you do get to drive around in cars, the physics for the cars is not particularly great and the handling of the cars isn't awesome, but hey, the car talks and you get to feel like you've got Kit from Knight Rider for those of you that grew up in the 80s. On to guns. Rage 2 does a decent job of giving you guns. Giving you guns that are fun to shoot, and you can shoot in a variety of different ways. They feel weighty, they feel good to shoot. The guns are pretty cool. On top of guns, in Rage 2 you also get special abilities. These are your ranger abilities that you're going to unlock throughout the game. That being said, they're a little hard to use with the default key bindings on PC. You've got to hold down control and another key. However, um, they are unbound by default, but you can set them to instant cast. Um, if you go into your controls, you can reset those. Much easier to use if you go ahead and do that. But what is really, really awful about Rage 2? Well, the story and the dialogue. It's got your just cliche. There's a super bad guy, aka the authority, and this random general guy. They want to kill everybody in the world so that their creepy half-human things can take over the world. Blah, blah, blah. And the dialogue is just on the nose. No subtext. Totally, totally awful. But not even like awful funny awful. Just really bad. Take this for example. God damn it. So you thought you'd just dump all that on my shoulders and waltz off into oblivion, huh, Aunt Prowley? That being said, should you play Rage 2? Did you enjoy the Blood Dragon mod? for Far Cry. If you did, well imagine this had a baby with Mad Max and that's Rage 2. Yeah, if you're a really big fan of post-apocalyptic genres and you've got a full-time job that pays above minimum wage and you've got money to burn, go ahead and spend the 59 euros or whatever this game's going to cost in the US. It's expensive and it also has have unlockable skins and all that stuff that seems to be so common with games today making you spend extra money for things that you don't need on day one don't do that game companies we don't like it all right um that's it for this one guys i'm enjoying it it was still a bit of a pricey game hold off if you don't want to spend that much money wait for it to be a little bit cheaper down the road i'm gonna catch you guys later if you found this review useful hit that like button and you want to see more things like this uh stick around hit the subscribe i'll see you on the channel mr g out